Thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show, where believe it, if I can get through this day with a big smile on my face, in true personal independence in my sights, well, believe it, so can you. Today is Monday, September 2nd, 2019. I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville at Deerwood Place. Just a little bit of sexy. And I want to give a shout out to a couple of guys that I eat dinner with every day. It's Alex and Gerd. Gerd is, is, he's a great dude and he cracks me up all the time. He's a funny guy. Alex is, he's a bigger dude and he's a little more quieter, but I mean, he's a good man. I appreciate both of you. Thank you for allowing me to sit at the table with you and, and share stories. You know, I'll tell you, you know, I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how you doing? Oh, you're doing good. Wow, that's a change. Tell me about it. What, have you been walking a lot? Great. And you feeling stable? Oh, Fantastic. Well, it's funny you said that because I wanted to talk about that very thing. You know, I took some time off from my show. I wasn't feeling very good. I wasn't walking very well, so I just decided to hang it up for a little bit and relax and get my leg, you know, situated and the swelling in my ankle down. And I'm glad I did because a lot happened. My medication was changed. I started the new medication called New Dexta that has been very effective and I discontinued Keppra and also another a uh, Seroquel which was just I, I don't need that stuff it's it didn't do good for me and since I discontinued that I feel a hundred percent better so that was a great decision to take me off those drugs and put me on the new decks. So thank you very much, Sammy and Brian, and my sisters for hanging in there with me and getting it right. And I just want to tell you that it is paying off in a huge way. I am getting ready to break my record of 11 hallways, and I'm going to go eat dinner here in a minute, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, walk again. I'm hopefully going to get up to about 15, 16 hallways. Maybe more, I don't know, find out. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about it, so I don't see why not, you know? And, uh, and, and I'm also, you know, I'm also springing off my left foot. I'm, I'm using my ankle. I'm, I'm, um, bouncing, I'm not bouncing, I'm, 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 I'm pushing off of my left foot. Bending my ankle, in which I, before I would just drag my foot around, pick it up, and drag it, and, and I was tripping over it a lot. Now I'm actually using the foot correctly, so that's a that's a huge, huge thing for me. It's it's a little bit of pain, but that's okay. I mean, it's it's good kind of pain, and, and it's getting with each time that I go out walking, I'm experiencing more control and more strength. So, big day for me. Um, I'm very happy to, to report this to all my listeners out there. I think, you know, I, I probably should tell you that, you know, when you go through this, this condition, it's like a roller coaster ride. You go up, down, up, and down. And try to stay positive, even when you're going through the bad times. I know it's hard. And believe me, I had some tough, tough days where I just said, you know what, whatever, I'll just be in a wheelchair all my life. But you got to stick with it. You got to stick with it. You got to never give up. You got to keep your head up. Always try to strive to to get better and keep a good attitude. Be positive. Try to be happy. It can only benefit you. With that said, I'm going to clock out of here. Um... You know, if, uh, hopefully I reach some of you folks. If I could just reach one person and make a positive influence on their life, 
then I am a success. With that said, believe it. If I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence in my grasp, well, believe it, so can you. Folks, thank you for tuning in to the show. Uh, I will talk with you soon. You have a good night. God bless you.